Hi everyone, Dr. Ben with Arkansas Osteopractic. Today I'm going to make a video discussing foot pain, specifically in a patient I've recently seen with foot or medial arch pain, um, why it's important to see your physical therapist, and as usual, I'll make an abbreviated video with just the exercises for your foot pain symptoms. So a little bit more about this patient and why you should see a physical therapist for your symptoms. Uh, specifically, the reason why you should see your physical therapist is a lot of times your symptoms aren't being caused by the location of your pain. Usually it's up the chain or somewhere farther away from where the actual symptoms are. In particular, I'm going to tell you about a patient that I just recently seen, I've recently seen. They came in for foot pain and he said something interesting. He said, this is the only place I can come in for foot pain and be treated at the hip. Now, we did treat his foot, you know, with some dry needling, instrument assisted work, um, joint work, etc. But the reason we treated his hip is because that was actually causing his foot symptoms. Whenever he was walking or standing, he had his hip externally rotated, which causes, you can see in my foot, not only does it cause excessive strain on your knee, it causes flattening of your foot. Every time, I'll do it from the side, every time my hips are rotated and I step, I'm just forcing unnecessary stress in the bottom of my foot here, okay? And it led to breakdowns and that's essentially why his foot was hurting. So this is for exercises to strengthen your foot as well as deal with the pain symptoms um, in your foot. So to get yourself ready, I would do this beginning and end really. Um, lacrosse ball I have here. If you have a tennis ball, a racquetball, anything like that will work. All you're going to do is put moderate pressure on there. You know, don't run your day. Just rolling back and forth along those irritated structures, okay? Designed to mobilize the ankle. So it'll hit every plane. What you're going to do, keep your leg out in front of you. Um, I don't want the heel down. Leg up. Try to use just your ankle. No, don't do any of this. So, ankle alphabet. Spell your alphabet. A B, C, D, all the way through Z, one lap. You know, you're having pain because your foot is flat. We want to raise the arch of your foot. So seated is one way if you can't tolerate standing on your foot, but I prefer standing, so I'm going to show you standing. We call these arch lifts. You can imagine foot's flat. Keep all three points of your foot on the ground, and you're going to just lift the arch. Basically, almost like you're curling your toes into the ground. Pulling the arch up. All right, next exercise is addressing the ankle as well as the foot. I've been walking around with a flattened foot, so we're going to reverse that by turning it in or inversion. This is going to hit a lot of muscles, specifically um, posterior tibialis, okay? Which turns, pulls your foot down and turns it in, okay? Easiest way to do that first step with any exercise program is isometrics. Take the towel, kind of turn your feet in and squish it. And then relax. You're gonna repeat this 15 times with five second holds for each rep. Towel scrunches. Super, sounds super easy, but if your foot hurts, your prior weaknesses is harder to do than it sounds. All you're doing is grabbing the towel with your toes, and just wrinkling it up. As you can see, while I do this, it literally lifts my arch off the ground. 